Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com, and it is day three here at Expo West 2012. I've already introduced this enough in my other videos, which you can check out up here and here. And uh, once you get familiar with those, come on in and let's check this out. Behind me is Blueprint Juice. I just did an interview with them, so stay tuned. But fantastic juices and a cleanse program that's available nationally. It's completely raw, unpasteurized, and organic, and delicious. So you guys are going to love them. I'm here at Amy's, and I love them, of course. They have amazing gluten-free and vegan and soy-free foods. But this is like awesome news their cans are now BPA free so you can go and have their cans and not worry about any nasty stuff getting into them so congratulations to Amy thanks for doing this and I uh, hope you guys will check it out so while I don't eat a lot of packaged frozen foods I have always loved Amy's they're great when I just I'm short on time or need something fast or, you know, want something relatively inexpensive. They have a great variety of gluten-free and vegan products. I just tried their lasagna, some of their wraps, really delicious. A lot of them still contain soy and, you know, they can be high in calories and fat and salt and all of that, but in general, Amy's is good for those of you who want the occasional quick food in your freezer. <laughs> I'm here at the Navitas Naturals booth with the amazing Julie Morris here who has an incredible website, incredible recipes. She does a lot of video recipes which you should check out on her YouTube channel. But she's also doing some really cool things with Navitas called the Smoothment. And I'm going to let her tell you about that real quick. So the Smoothment is basically upgrade the nutrition of one meal a day using a smoothie. So we take all of our amazing superfood ingredients like a cow powder, goji berry powder, maca powder, you blend them up with some vegetables and different fruits and you make an amazing delicious smoothie and you're energized for the rest of the day. Super simple to make, takes like 60 seconds and really fun. That's exactly what my audience is always asking yeah. for. So I'm so excited you guys tons have to check tons this. Tons and tons of recipes actually on the NavitasNaturals.com website. So if you're looking for any new recipes, you can sign up, join this movement. It's totally free. Just enter in your email address, get access to videos and recipes until your heart's content. Cool. IU is Ayurvedic drinks and they are delicious but what makes them even more exciting is that two of their flavors are sweetened with stevia and uh, they're made they're formulated to give you just um, all sorts of uh, ben wellness benefits like stress relief and they've got special women's formulated um, what else do they have mental clarity energy immune boost all the things that you need and we love to drink juices flavored juices flavored waters all that stuff so this is definitely a healthier thing the stevia sweetened ones are ginger, zinger, and mango lime. Very good, nice, subtle, not too sweet. They also have some, they're agave sweetened, the other two, yes. yeah. The vanilla chai is really good. Sweetened with agave, so a better alternative, but not quite as good as stevia, actually. I was corrected, I've been pronouncing stevia <laughs> this whole time, but it's stevia, which sounds even better, so check them out. What you just saw was Sophie's Kitchen. Not only is it vegan, not only is it gluten-free, but it's soy-free as well. I'm gonna interview them, stay tuned, but I just wanted to get your mouths watering, because this is one of those fun vegan treats you can really indulge in even if you have allergies. So stay tuned for more. Go ahead. Um, I'm here at the Onion Crunch booth. <laughs> serving up my Southwest vegan quinoa salad. It's healthy, delicious, and nutritious, and it's got that extra crunch. <laughs> okay, first of all, I have to mention what this came from. John Nash, who maybe I'll get on camera later, put it on me. Little dots down my neck, all tribal. Anyways, I'm here at Divine Organics. Incredible raw desserts and treats and, and just raw food staples. And they have these incredible butters now. They have like a Nutella, a raw Nutella replacement. Um, they have 
uh, all sorts of stuff with pistachio and mulberry, halva, uh, cashew butters, uh, it looks like I think a coconut butter over there, unbelievable, one of the best things I've tried here and even better than this raw organic. I'm here visiting Gaia and I just did a video with them about their incredible website where they, you can actually look up the ingredients and all the herbs, the supplements, everything that they make. They make teas, they make all sorts of remedies for various parts of your life. Super excited to try it out. I've only tried a few of their products, but I'm really impressed. They do amazing things, so stay tuned for the video. Uh, but definitely, after talking with them, I don't know if I could recommend anyone else in their field because they are just striving to be the best highest quality so that you can just have complete purity in your body to heal you. Alafia is another company that I'm really impressed with thanks to the Whole Foods team that brought me by and introduced them, me to them. I was a little skeptical. I don't know, their packaging didn't really catch my eye, but I just spoke to the, the founder here right back there. I might try to speak with him again on my other camera to get an interview because he's amazing and the company, what they're about is incredible. So a couple summaries, like their, their palm oil that they use, you would think it was, you know, you should avoid it, but it, since it's grown in Tonga of West Africa, totally safe, no orangutans involved, awesome. They're super fair trade. They're always, but their, their top thing, I should say, is that they are helping the companies, like, and I'm sorry, the communities and the people. So they're doing things like growing trees to offset the carbon issues. They're giving 10% uh, of their sales instead of their profits um, to help uh, continue education for women, especially young women. They're giving them bicycles. What else am I missing? I mean, they're, they're really focused on women, which is amazing. Their products are super pure. They've got their multi-purpose. This black soap is outstanding, all the things you can do with it. So it's just really coming down to the earth and they're making things that are helping people and just being pure and true. So, wow, awesome. I would check them out. And you know what? Best part is they're inexpensive. Apparently, this massive bottle retails for like $10 or something in Whole Foods, which would honestly make me want to turn away from it because it seems like it would be cheap quality. It's not. The owner said straight out when I asked him, he's like, I don't take a lot of money for myself. It's all about everyone else. So that is true integrity and um, true amazingness. <laughs> okay, so as soon as the nights or the expo closes, the parties begin, and this is the blogger press event, or we're, I guess we're just being introduced to all the different products out there. And all these amazing blogger friends are here, which I've already talked about. I have them pointed out. Vegan Yak Attack here, Jackie. And Allison, Allison's gourmet. Oh, there you are. Up oh, behind. There you are. <laughs> and of course, Carolyn and Vanessa and Jill. But also, my buddy Mike from Urban Organic Gardener. I weave my way through the crowds here. We love him. You guys have to check him out if you haven't already. Here he is, Mike! Hello! Oh, yeah, just tell them all how great you are and teaching people how to garden organically in the city. Yes, small space, not much room at all. Lots of people need, not all of us have the space in the garden area. Myself included? Yes. I was just asking him about aphids and herbs, windowsill growing, all that. He knows it all, so check him out. One of my favorite bloggers out there. Say hello. Yeah, and he's got and he's got a great YouTube channel. Those of you who love videos like this, so YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, he's all over social media guru. He's like a male version of me that doesn't just talk about vegan stuff and all that. I don't know, maybe not quite, but you, you get my point. Uh, anyway, so that's what's going on here at the um, the blogger event. And stay tuned. I'm about to go to a bunch of other parties. I don't know where I'm getting the energy from. I'm here at the Dagoba Organic Chocolate Party where they're having all sorts of amazing treats that they're doing with the chocolate, although I don't think any of them are vegan. They look fantastic though, like they're putting chocolate on all sorts of crazy things. Um, 
But what I can have is this martini, although it's probably the last thing I need after a long day, tired day, and when I'm going to have to uh, keep myself together for another couple hours. But um, it tastes delicious. They use one of their chocolates. For those of you who are unfamiliar, super ethical chocolate company. They are an organic horse. They're also Rainforest Alliance certified. What else here? They've got all these different flavors. Um, and uh, I'll have to double check. I believe that they're fair trade as well. Um, but I don't know if they're certified in that. And Rainforest uh, Alliance certified it takes it to another level. So all these different products. They've got lavender, blueberry, dark chocolate, and uh, cherries, and cranberries, and mint, and uh, what a lemon ginger. I mean, all these delicious stuff. They've been around for years and years. Oh, yeah, there's the fair trade thing I was looking for. Cool. So good stuff. And I'm going to go enjoy my martini. So, if you don't ask, you don't get. I went ahead and asked if anything was vegan here. It wasn't. However, they prepared us some special things that weren't even out. So, we got to try this, like, was that fig? Oh, yeah. We have, uh, it's like little pancake with figs on it. And there must and be mint. chocolate in there somewhere. It was, it was pretty it was good. It was pretty good. And then, but what is this? Did you bite it yet? I did. It's like a it's, chocolate It's like Nutella. Peanut, chocolate yeah. peanut butter vegan Nutella sandwich. It's amazing. Yeah. Nice it. job to go by. And we just listened to a great talk about where their cocoa comes from. Were you impressed? What did you think? Um, I was impressed, and I had no idea they source it from so many different locations. They've got Tanzania. They had, oh gosh, where were the, where were the others? I don't remember now. I don't know. I'm kind, I'm kind of, my mind's shutting off <laughs> I know. It's been a long day. All I know is I was impressed with them. Yeah. Good stuff. They really care. So another company that has integrity, which is common theme with the people I've met today, which is amazing. Yeah. On to the next party? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do we have the energy? the Bragg's 100th anniversary party. Can you believe it? If you don't know Bragg's, well, you probably do. They make amino acids, they make apple cider vinegar, they make all sorts of stuff. And this is the best party I've been to all weekend. Actually, maybe in my whole Expo West career. So much fun, incredible food. It's all vegan here. I had incredible brown rice stir fry, um, and some of their apple cider vinegar drinks. But check out these dancers. They know how to party. And, and Miss Bragg herself, At another party, I've had a lot, a lot of chocolate during Expo West. But chocolate made with health force, nutritional, vitamin, mineral, green, and warrior food. Um, amazing. It's cacao butter, coconut sugar, um, and their mixtures. I don't want to give it all away, but it's fantastic and um, full of incredible superfoods. So, man. How do you choose from all this stuff?